What is good in your family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with the overall market very, very quickly. I'm going to talk about what's going on with Spy and Neo and talk about some very important levels to watch for. But before I do anything like this, though, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you start for Weeble and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends in just about 10 days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, now let's talk about NEO. So I'm going to be very busy this Sunday for the weekend. I'm going to be very busy, so I'm not going to be able to record this for way too long. So I just need to record this for just a few minutes. I just wanted to talk very quickly about NEO. So looking at NEO, we're getting very close to a monthly cross on the PPO. If we zoom out of the chart simultaneously, you will see that on the four hour, NEO is technically a little bit more bullish as this thing has been uptrending just a little bit since we hit this 9.92 level. So is it very strong? Not necessarily. It's kind of like in a range right now, but I think there's a good chance it's going to try to go a little higher and approach the 10.8 area before it may, may reject and start trading sideways. But I do believe it's going to get a pop towards the higher 10s before it starts to cool off. And I'm saying that because of the fact that SPY is due for a slight bounce. We might see it try to bounce a little bit before it continues even lower. So I think that uh, it's very important to consider these factors. It's very important to uh, look at the market from this lens. And I think that this is going to have a big effect on how it ends up continuing. Now, with that said, uh, with SPY potentially bouncing, you know, we could get this back test of this trend line right over here. If there's some kind of back test at this 444 to 445 level, there could be an attempt to go a little higher before this thing starts to slow down lower. But the trend is looking more bearish overall. So we're making like lower highs and lower lows. So look for a little bounce here. Look for a bounce first and then look to see if this thing can try to break 444 to 445. We could just kind of like trade sideways there for a while. And that's what I'm predicting will happen before we do potentially go lower depending on the FOMC meeting. But for now, look for a little back test first and that could help Neo try to make an attempt to bounce. All right. As a result, it's not just the overall market trying to balance. Also, the QQQ has potential to try to back test 372. There is definitely potential for it to attempt to do so, and we'll see if it rejects or not. If it rejects, you know, there, there's obviously going to be more downside. But just look for that back test first, and that could help NEO bounce. So I think that NEO is going to follow the trend, get a bounce test 10.8, then slow down afterwards towards 10.5. But I do believe NEO is going to try to bounce first off, and we do have some potential upside coming, especially because of how this formation is looking. NEO also established a bullish divergence on the five-minute time frame. Uh, it hasn't fully played out just yet. I still think there's more potential for it. On the four hour, it still is uptrending overall. So I do think there's more potential for it to push towards the 10.88 area before it slows down. All right. So hopefully this video was helpful. I want to make this one as quick as possible. Have a great Sunday, everyone. Enjoy some football if you guys may. And I will most definitely see you guys tomorrow for a full on more in-depth video. Thank you and peace out.